Russian missiles pummeled into cities across Ukraine overnight amid reports that Mahmoud city is set to fall. Kiev, Odessa and Kharkiv were hit by a barrage of missile strikes as well. Ukrainian officials say, however, that a much wider range of areas in central Ukraine were targeted as well. Four people are reported dead in Lviv. The military administration is reporting power outages for at least 40 percent of Kiev residents. An attack is also reported on the energy facility in the fort city of Odessa. Russia calls the fresh missile strikes a retaliation for border incursions. Moscow also confirmed the use of Kinjal hypersonic missiles in its attack against Ukraine. В ответ на организованные 2 марта текущего года киевским режимом террористические акции в Брянской области вооруженными силами Российской Федерации нанесен массированный удар возмездия. The latest round of Russian airstrikes come after the Ukrainian military said that its forces have managed to push back intense Russian attacks in Bakhmut, despite head of the Wagner Group claiming that it controls the eastern half of the city. Meanwhile, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, during an interview with CNN, said Russian troops will have open roads for capture of other key cities in eastern Ukraine if they manage to control Bakhmut. He also reiterated his decision to keep Ukrainian troops in Bakhmut. But U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin says that the fall of Bakhmut would not mean Russia has turned the tide of war and that Bakhmut is more of a symbolic than operational importance. Meanwhile, NATO chief Jen Stoltenberg said that the eastern city of Bakhmut could fall in the matter of days. And as mentioned, his remarks do coincide with the Magner Group claiming that it had captured the eastern bank of that industrial town. Okay, for more on this, we are joined by Dov Zakhim, former Undersecretary of Defense in the George W. Bush administration and currently a senior advisor at Center for Strategic and International Studies. He's joining us live from Washington, D.C. Uh, thank you so much for joining us on WEON. So the city of Bakhmut, some say that it's only of symbolic importance. However, Russia seems to be advancing in Ukraine. What do you make of all of this? Well, uh, I think uh, Secretary Austin is right. Uh, first of all, there isn't much left to Bakhmut. It's, it's been devastated. Uh, most of the people appear to have cleared out. Uh, so, yes, it's, it's uh, I think, important for the Russians to be able to say they've taken something. Uh, and that's why Bakhmut is so important. Um, otherwise, uh, all these missile attacks, for example, uh, are reminiscent of the uh, Nazi V2 attacks on Britain and London in particular, uh, which are meant to be terror attacks. And just as the Brits uh, at the end of toward the end of World War II uh, <clears throat> didn't really give in because of these missile attacks, um, I don't see the Ukrainians giving in at all. First of all, they've been attacked so often by missiles. Their electricity has been knocked out so often. Apartment buildings, hospitals. We know the, the litany of all the places that the uh, Russians have tried to and have succeeded in attacking and destroying. It hasn't stopped the Ukrainians. And I think that uh, Zelensky and, and his military leadership intend to push on, uh, continue to supply them. And uh, even hypersonic missiles. Uh, this is the latest version, as it were, of a, of a V-2, of a terror attack. These missiles can fly five to six times the speed of sound. Um, we're trying to develop. We are developing defenses against them. The Ukrainians don't have them, of course. But at the end of the day, it's still damage, and the Ukrainians aren't going to give in. What about... It seems that Western nations, their alliance seems intact when it comes to supporting Ukraine. Uh, what about support among the population, among Americans, for example, moving forward? How do you see that as this war rages on? Well, there are a lot of people who are saying Americans are going to get tired. Uh, and it's quite possible. But remember, again, we're not fighting directly in this war, uh, which is uh, why I think uh, it'll be different from, say, the exhaustion with Afghanistan and Iraq. And then remember, Afghanistan took 20 years before we got out. 
Uh, we're in just the beginning of the second year of a war. It may not go on for much more than this year. We just don't know. Uh, if the Russians continue to fail to, to, uh, to gain any territory other than something like Bakhmut, uh, they're not going to get very far. And, and if anybody's going to run out of steam, it's going to be the Russians. The Ukrainians are fighting for their lives. Uh, we in the West, uh, the United States, our allies, uh, our troops aren't involved. We're providing assistance. That's very, very different. And, and as I say, uh, this isn't Afghanistan that took 20 years.